Hello everybody and welcome back to another modded Minecraft video. Anyway, last time we built this wonderful greenhouse right over here. And yeah, we have all the Pam's Harvest crops. Now if you remember, I did say we were missing one crop from Pam's Harvest. And we did actually figure out which crop that was. If we fly over here, that was... Well, actually they've removed it now. I need to replant this field with... Looks like a cedar full of wheat. So we'll probably end up doing that later. Um, but yeah, uh, it was sunflower because in Pam's Harvest Craft, yeah, sunflowers, you can turn into sunflower seeds, which can be made can be made into a couple things. Not really that important, really, or anything, but you know, it's something that can be made. But yeah, unfortunately, you can't actually um, plant sunflowers like a normal crop. So, those two slots will just be opened for whatever, I guess we just need a little bit extra of. I'm not sure. We didn't really need the extra two slots at the end here anyway. But no, this is all very nice. Yeah, these two, these two uh, slots right here. So now we have a steady trickle of Pam's Harvest Craft crops. And, because of the success of the greenhouse, Alex has gone out and taken some of those harvesters blocks and put them on some trees that will need a lot of them. So, like the almonds... He's got a harvester for almonds, and he's got a harvester over here for bananas. So, yep, so that'll automatically harvest those two fruits that we need a lot of. Well, nut and fruit that we need a lot of. So, that's pretty good. Everything else we can just harvest manually, though. When and when and we need it and stuff. Mmm, pecans. Anyway, over here, we're going to be building the restaurant... To end all the restaurants. So as you guys as you guys know, we have Canopy Cuisine, subsidiary of Lake Lunch. The Sushi Shack, also of subsidiary of Lake Lunch. Yeah, as you guys remember, Lake Lunch, the um, the restaurant in the um, yeah, restaurant in season season two has now become a international corporation and is subsidizing all these other offshoot restaurants so canopy cuisine is an offshoot so is the sushi shack and so will be the barnyard buffet so we're going to be building a buffet where people will be allowed to take one stack of items so in minecraft one stack of items is 64 so as you can see i can grab if i i can grab 64 sunflowers and no more i i if i wanted to see you, you can't you can't put any more no more can be added 264. So, that'll be the limit. You'll have... We can get one stack of food items. Out of all the Pam's Harvest Craft crops, we'll, ha we'll get a couple. I mean, because there's a lot of food in Pam's Harvest Craft. I mean, look at all this food. But yeah, you'll be able to grab a stack. But yeah, even even stuff like the Korean dinner, we'll probably have some of that. You can grab, you can grab a stack of Korean dinners. I mean, that'll be a lot of stuff we have to make. A lot of, a lot of stuff. But, you know, we're getting to the point where we should be able to make a ton of food. Um, the only real thing that we're um, lacking is a meat feast pizza. So maybe next time we'll make a, some sort of meat farm. I know we have the um, the pigs over here. But, yeah, we just need a lot more meat. I mean, but we're going to go ahead and check on our pizza factory. Which I did make some changes to um, after I after last time. Because if you guys don't know, um, with how far ahead I am with Minecraft videos, I literally just uploaded the one where we made the pizza factory. I just uploaded that video. So, yeah, I'm, I'm really far ahead because Alex, you know, the server progress is so fast. I just, the only way for me to really have a meaningful impact is to bulk record. If I don't bulk record, then, well, nothing really gets done. But anyway... Now you don't even have to go into the pizza factory. I made it all automated. We have prime chicken and we have prime beef. Okay, I'm going to take some of the prime chicken. Take some of the prime... Uh, I got that backwards. <laughs> take some prime chicken, take some prime beef. Got some prime bacon too. Mmm, tasty. And let's check this in here and... Let's check this in here and see if we get any pizzas. Any pizzas? Any pizza? No. Okay. Um... So it works the same as it did before. Stuff goes up to here. Oh. Everything went into here. Literally everything. A bunch... Okay, someone threw a bunch of steak into it. 
Okay. You didn't display any errors. Because the fact that it says 0 out of 27, it should say, like, more, because that chest is full of stuff. Like, if you throw stuff that doesn't belong in the system, like, let's say you throw in a platinum shield and a mushrooms and pecans, the error number should go up. This should go up. But it doesn't. Because it's broken. We're counting errors as how many items are in this chest. Because items aren't supposed to go in here. Yeah, I thought that's, yeah. Hmm. I guess they don't really work with chests. Maybe that's the problem. <sighs> I don't know if there's like another container that we can use. No, not really. Okay. Hmm. Thought it would work with telling the items in a chest, but yeah, it just seems to have more problems than it's worth using. That's fine. Okay, I'm gonna break these up. There we go. Okay. Fine. Okay. Hopefully that will prevent it from... I don't know. Stuff happening. Because, yeah, I mean, we could use normal steaks. Like, that works for the recipe. But, yeah, it's not set up in the auto crafters, so... That's fine. And, the, yeah, the displays, they're cool, but they don't work, so it's kind of aggravating. So we just won't use them. I mean, the energy one worked, and that was kind of cool. But, yeah, the item one just... That was the main reason I had it, was the item one. So that we could tell, like, okay, when the um, chest was getting full and needed to empty it. Uh, but, mm, that's fine. Whatever. Anyway, yeah, that's, that's our main bottleneck. But I think stuff like... Yeah, Mephi's Pizza Pizza is a problem. But I think we'll be fine to make stuff like this. I mean, yeah, this is, um... I mean, there's quite a few things that go into this, really. So yeah, we got the Southern-style breakfast, the pizza, the thankful dinner, the gourmet venison burger, the minor stew, the corned beef breast... Um, corned beef breakfast. Okay. So minor stew is a bunch of resources in a bowl. Gourmet venison burger, I think, would be pretty easy to make. Yeah. Yeah, we could totally easily do that. Pulverizer. We would need a pulverizer. That's something we don't quite have in our thing, but we can use tofenison. So that's something that we could do for that. Pickled beets. That's relatively easy. This is also pretty complicated. Uh, sweet potato pie being, I think, probably the most complicated thing here. Yeah, the sweet potato pie would be the most complicated thing here. Because it requires marshmallows and dough and that's all things. But no, that's relatively easy to make. Corn, that's just corn. Toast, that's easy. Cranberry jelly, yeah. So the pie would be the most complicated thing for that. Korean dinner we already looked at. Corned beef breakfast I saw was pretty complicated. An egg, or is that a tofu egg? Yeah, tofu egg. <laughs> That's funny. We got milk, ketchup. The hardest part would be the corned beef hash, which requires all this and corned beef, which, oh boy, that's complicated. So, yeah, that'd be something that would be hard to make. Meat feast pizza, that's, you know, we got a whole factory for that. And then the final thing, the southern style breakfast. Grits, that's relatively easy. Biscuits and gravy, biscuit gravy, that's, again, <laughs> relatively simple, okay. All pork cooked, all egg, and toast. Okay, so all those will be relatively easy to make, actually. And then, of course, we won't just have that at our restaurant, we'll have some other things as well. Also, I'm wasting my flight juice just by hovering here. But yeah, we'll have all the other Pam's Harvest Crafted stuff as well. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and get on with building the barn. One thing that I was talking to my friend about and that I'm pretty upset about is how time lapses are in this series and how we can't really do them because, you know, when I'm building, it's just like... Doo -doo 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 -doo. So I'm going to try and maybe do a method of, like, I'll build a bit, we'll check back, I'll build a bit, we'll check back. But yeah, it should be pretty similar to the barn I built in Season 2. If you guys remember. Oh, this is going to have to be slash killed. Um, yep, that's one of the block entities. Yep, I'm gonna go ahead and chisel out all this ground. Just do a big old landscaping job. I think like these shaded gardens have um grown out of control. So yeah, we're gonna have to take care of these. But yeah, once I'm done with that, we'll get. Oh gosh. Well, that's 
one way of doing it, I guess. Okay, so there we go. There's this entire area flattened. Let's go ahead and get a nice aerial view. I think I'm going to trim that back a bit. But yeah, as you can see, this area is now flat. And yeah, just a bit like of rounding off the edges of these things. Oh my gosh, double whammy! Oh my gosh, triple whammy! Gosh, triple comboed. <laughs> that was um <laughs> kind of funny actually um you know ah gosh i'm getting mobbed that's why they're called mobs okay okay there we go that looks good i like that yeah okay, there's this odd peninsula type land mass right here i think i'll just fill this in Ouchies. Ouchies! Stop giving me ouchies! Stop! You're lagging me game! My game's lagging. I couldn't ha- I can't handle- Oh, it can't handle this. It cannot- Okay, what? Okay, there's gotta be a ghost block there, actually. Probably. Most likely. Um... Yes. There's a ghost block here. Aha. Gonna found you. Ah, it was right there. Found it. No, ghost block. Oh, okay, ghost blocks right here. Boop, 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 boop. Ghost block. Where are you? Ghost block. Where are you? Okay, we got rid of it. Yay, rejoice. Okay, there we go. Okay. So as you can see, this is the layout for my barn. We have one corner there, one corner there. It's going to be like two by one long. So 16 blocks this way, 32 that way. And then three block center. So very similar to the barn we had before in the previous game, previous version of things. That's eh, pretty close to the corner, but I think that'll be fine. And yeah. Nah. This is gonna end up looking very nice. Right next to the greenhouse, too. It's gonna, you know, look kind of like our farm on um, FS22. With the barn and the greenhouse really close to each other. I don't really know where I was going with that. Also, I think I shaved back the land a little too much here. But you know, it's fine. Because we can eventually put a path down that way and expand uh, down this way. Because I'm sure... Alex will love the option to expand down this way. And also, who knows? We might... We might build a tractor down here or something. A tractor? Yes, we'll build a giant shrine to tractor. A giant tractor shrine. That's what I want to build. But no, this area looks nice. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and... Bust up the floor. Actually, before I do that, we need to figure out what we want to actually build the floor out of. Before I go busting out the floor. I'm thinking wood, but what kind of wood do we have? Maybe like, it maybe actually like a stone texture would be kind of neat, because this is like a restaurant. I know like the original plan for the original barn was thatch, and then we didn't end up doing that, and I think we ended up just using wood, right? Yeah, like oak wood. It's probably more than we need, but there we go. <laughs> Okay, what would be good floor texture? Ooh. Actually, the disarray looks good. Horizontal disarray, I really like. Now we're going for that. Out with the floor. Well, in with the floor. Out with the old floor, in with new floor. And old floor is just dirt, so I don't care about old floor. Old floor can get torn up. Uh oh. Uh 
Um, excuse me, what? What? Is this a weird glitch? Okay, it was. That was odd. <laughs> I'm like, where is everything? But then I realized this dirt wasn't going into my inventory. That was the weirdest glitch I've ever seen. Okay. Let's keep on building. But no, I do like this floor. I think it does... No, I think it does fit, like, the old farmy aesthetic. Because, yeah, we're going to go for, like, an old farm house. Because, yeah, this is, this is a barn. So... Can't get much more farmhousey than an actual barn, am I right? Okay, laggy lag. Look at all this dirt following me around. Oh my goodness. This is the floor. Wonderful. Looks very nice. Now time for the walls. That actually took quite a few um bits of oak wood, not gonna lie, that's almost our whole thing gone. Okay, so walls of redwood. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hopefully, it should be enough of that. And we're going to get start work on the walls. Oh, I didn't mean to shift click it into this door. I meant to put it down here. <laughs> three, four, five, six. I think that works. There's the base of the walls done. Boop, boop. There we go. There's our barn door. Does it not work here? Just make sure it's not lag. Okay, it might be lag then. Because dirt should work. Or if that is grass. Um. Uh, there you go. There's some dirt. Oh, it's gone. The wand is gone. Okay, it just is it's gone now. Oh, it's back. I wonder if this is bigger than my other barn. I don't know exact. Actually, no, it definitely is bigger. It's longer, too. It's a long barn. It's a very long boy barn. But, you know, we're going to have a lot of foods for the buffet. A lot of foods on the buffet. A lot of different stuff for sale as well. Maybe we'll sell, like, um, hay rides. Do we sell hay rides? Could that be something that we could sell? I don't know. Oh, I think we could maybe do a vehicle trailer and then you could put like a vehicle on it and then sit on the vehicle. Maybe, I don't know, that could be fun. Do hay rides. It's a very big barn and this door is nowhere near big enough. Okay, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. That's a big do barn door for a big boy barn. That's a big boy barn door for a big boy barn. Perfect. Oh yeah, that's looking nice. And then above that we'll have the thing. Oh yeah. This is actually looking, um, you know, for someone who's never actually, you know, well, not never been to a farm, or for someone who doesn't really know much about barns, like, I know they're on a farm, and stuff, like, this is all from, like, memory. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I guess I just like farming that much. I mean, yeah, I don't know much about a barn. Like, I know... I think they're not used that much anymore, are they? Because they used to, like, house animals. I mean, like... I mean, like, these classic barns. Like, a classic barn. You know. But, like, you know, the newer barns is, like, yeah, like, made of steel and metal. But, like, a, your just classic... Seat on the side of the road type barn. You know, I don't know if those are used too much anymore. I feel like they're probably so old. Historic building, historic landmark type thing. Not quite sure. Yeah. Very cool. There we go. So that's our barn, and now I have to work on tapering the roof. So I think I'll start the taper with um, the redwoods. So maybe we'll go... Okay, so it's like one, two, and then one, two, and then one, two. Yeah. Yeah, okay. And then start one... And then that's... That doesn't look quite right. No, it's a one-block middle. It's not a two-block middle. Okay. Yeah, the, oh, yeah that, 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 look, that looks right. 
Okay, we're going for that. Okay. So then it's one, two, one, one. Beautiful. That looks very barn like. I do admit that looks very barn like. Gonna fill the rest of this out. There's our barn! That looks, yeah, that looks good. Especially once we get the black outline on there, that'll look great. So now we just gotta build the black out, the black outline. We actually gotta, oh, I ran out of flight. <laughs> so now we just gotta build the same exact pattern on that wall, and then do the black outline of the roof. And then, yeah, this place will be pretty much 100% done. Nice! And then I guess I got the silo to do, but I might do that one, that part later. Um, we don't really need a silo, but yeah, we'll build the silo as a functional piece. Maybe to like store extra stock or something. Who knows? Because I know, yeah, the silo on the, on the other barn wasn't really functional. We didn't really do anything with it. Except for like store pigs in it, which... Not... It's not I, I don't know if I should have told Alex, but that's not what silos are used for. They're not for torturing poor innocent pigs. Uh, but I don't know. He, 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 he put poor innocent pigs in there, so I don't really know. Um, Barnes, they got this, um, it's usually, like, for the hayloft. It's like a little crane that they can use to wheel out the, um, the bales, I think they got. Yeah, I think, I've seen these before. It's like a little winch and pulley system. So, it's nothing too complicated. Can I place this? Rope coil. Oh, that looks beautiful. That looks perfect, actually. Look at that. Oh, and then we just need some hay bales. It's gonna look good. This is gonna look good. Oh, we already... We already got some! So, yeah, we're hoisting a hay bale. And we'll have some hay that's, like, piling out the edge here. Oh, that doesn't look good. Yeah, I guess they don't take too long to break. It's just when you're flying, it's like, ooh, a little slog. Okay, can we make, like, hay stairs? <laughs> Be kind of neat. Hay bale. Oh, it's actually called a hay bale in Minecraft. Neat. I guess it makes sense, because it's got the... The wrap on it. Yeah, yeah, like a little wrap. There we go. So we got hay bales coming out the side of the barn. <laughs> nice. Okay. We might have, like, thatch, actually. Which, if we have thatch, then that would be... Yeah, there we go. That would actually be better, probably. Yeah, because that doesn't have the wrapping around it. That would look better, I think, for, like, coming out the side of the thing. But that all... I mean, that one looks okay with the wrapping around it. But I think for all these, just having the wrap around it just... Ooh, nope. Yeah, that looks way better. It looks more like stuff actually pouring out and versus like hay bales just dangling off the side. We should do a little pond here. Oh, that would look so nice. A little pond? Okay, so if you guys don't know what I'm doing, I'm basically building this so they can place the water on top of this. And then basically I'll vein mine all the cobblestone. Because I don't want it to be dirt because I vein mine all the dirt. Well then, bad news. But yeah, we'll just do this. So that way when I vein mine all the cobblestone, all the water then flows that way. There we go. Lake's full and vein mine the cobblestone. Get ready for the moment of truth. There we go. Hey, look at that. Look at that nice waterfall. Hey, and then we got a water feature in the middle. Waterfall. That's cool. I like it. Okay, cool. I like this area a lot. Okay, this, is, this, was, this was the hardest part of the barn to build. In the original one, for the original barn. But, because we got Builder's one, this should be a walk in the park. Oh yeah, look look at that. It's following that curve perfectly. I literally don't have to do anything. Wow, where was this in the last season? This is the best. Oh, that's already some have to light up the place. Right. Kinda of forgot about that. Oh my goodness, we ran out of ebony wood. <laughs> I'm I guess I'm not surprised. That's Yeah, that was quite a bit. There we go. Yeah, so we're just out of redwood for the back, but there we go. There is the barn done. With 25 ebony wood to spare. Not bad. Way bigger than the old one. I def- yeah, definitely way bigger. 
And we could do stairs for the roof, but honestly, I kind of don't mind it being like that. I mean, yeah, we could always do stairs, but to be honest, it looks alright. It looks alright just as is, even with, without the stairs. It just needs a big old silo back here. Yeah, I still think it might be a little long. Maybe, like, we didn't need it to be as long, but I don't know. Looks good. It's a long barn, like I said. And I'm gonna go and light this place up, because, yep, there are things spawning inside. Oh, it's a mob farm now. Okay, okay, okay. My barn is a mob farm. And go. 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 Oh, go. Oh, boom. Yeah, Creeper's doing no damage in this. Ah. Oh, he still blew up. Uh, yeah. There we go. Perfect. I know it's getting late. I'm getting tired. So, I think I'm probably going to end the video here. Um, yeah, because I can't really... That isn't... I mean, it looks... Ow. Ouchies. Ouchie. I don't like you. Wisp. Thumbcraft. Wisp. Okay. Yeah, because I can't really think straight anymore. Uh, I've been playing for a very long time. And yeah, I can't really think straight when it comes to, like, how this should look. Uh, I, I overall think the front looks alright. It, it may not even need the stairs. Yeah, the half slab might, might just be all it needed. I don't know. I can't, really, I can't really think straight right now. But, you know, I'm happy with how it's coming together. And, yeah, next time we will uh, fill the inside out with all the wonderful... Uh, foods and stuff. Or I might do that off camera. Depends on how I'm feeling. But anyway, if you guys enjoyed... I'm gonna stand right here, actually. Because it's fun. If you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like. Subscribe for new videos. Have a great day at rest of your day. And yeah, next time, like I said, we'll do the inside of the barn. Like I said, I'm really happy with how this thing turned out. And yeah. See you guys next time. Good bye.